perfect. Save and run. I think we're done. After this, we need to set up the timer to be correct so that it actually gets the right job and everything at the first one, and then that'll be it. And so the next thing we're gonna have to do is figure out what schedule we wanna put it on, uh, put the timer trigger on, and then anything that's been hosted as a new job within that previous time period is what's gonna be on here. Oh, time out value of five minutes? Five minutes? There's no way that it took five minutes. Initiating cancellation? What cancellation? Did I really do that for five minutes? Is past due. I don't know if it means that it worked or not. I hope. Let's try this. We're gonna run it. It's 2042 characters. Okay. Uh oh. It's executing this function and it's doing this thing and it just posted something. Holy cow, that's a long description. Okay, so it is longer than like 2048 characters. Dang, that is a long description. But otherwise, it looks like it worked and it has all the stuff and then how to apply. Perfect, I think we did it. Where is it pulling the job posts from? It's pulling them from GitHub. GitHub has a job API and it shows you our created at. And so we're gonna have to check if the created at is within an hour of this current timestamp. So it needs to be hosted within that hour. Then those jobs will be added into our Discord. We got it. So now I guess this is what we gotta do. So we're gonna say timestamp and then we'll filter everything based on that timestamp. Timestamp to ISO string. We got these jobs, result.json, and new jobs will be jobs that filter. I guess we can do J for job. J. If, let's see. It basically needs to be j.created at is, it needs to be greater than the timestamp minus an hour. So we need one hour ago is gonna be the new date. How do we do one hour prior? JavaScript new date one hour before. This is what we need. Adding hours to the, aha. Oh, here we go. Add hours. This is what I was looking for. Add hours and then we add negative one and then dot two ISO string. And so then can we compare by ISO string? I'm pretty sure we can. And so I'm gonna print this out. Okay, create timestamp is greater than this one hour ago because this is a UTC time. Oh, if we do ISO string, that's not gonna work. Oh, how do we parse it? Hmm, JavaScript new date from ISO string. I think I can just pass it into the date, can't I? Date.parse, date.parse. Ah, and then does that give us a new date object? Hmm, change our string to a date object. I can just do new date UTC, what? Do not pass strings into I'm pretty sure you can. I think you can just do new date. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think this is wrong. Turn down for what? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, so if we just do one hour ago, we don't need the two ISO string here. We don't even need this timestamp. We're not even using it. Okay, so then if new date created at is greater than one hour ago, like that. So we're gonna filter by that and then we get new jobs and then say context.log new jobs and we're gonna run it here and so we're gonna return so that we don't worry about all the other stuff and then let's see if this works let's see if it actually filters and gets all of the newest jobs oh no oh no <laughs> this wasn't posted in the past hour of course not oh what is the utc time utc time right now is 75 oh p.m which would be 19:25. ah oh, dang it so instead, we're gonna add two hours to it and save and run. That should make it pick up the job, right? Filter, filtered. Okay, if I do add hours four, I just wanna see if this works. Save and run. I don't think it's actually filtering correctly. Okay, so it's executing functions, timer trigger. Mm, yep, it's not working. I don't think we can compare dates just with an objects like that. Maybe not. Something is wrong here. Something is definitely wrong here. This should have been printing something out no matter what. Is it just not getting any of this? It should have printed something. Oh, here it is. Add hours is not a function. Oh, this is the problem. Okay, now uh, script. New date. One hour prior. Okay, we'll do subtract one hour. How do we subtract? Oh, okay. Easy enough. We do this. 
and then we say yeah one hour ago that set hours is current get hours and then technically we'll do two hours ago this should be fine and then let's see will it work it's executing it's getting something it's doing something we will find out i think it's frozen i think we pushed it to the limit maybe so add hours is not a function huh so if you don't do add hours you reached your one million request limit <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh man, no true trace in the past one minute. There's no way. Okay, okay, I'm gonna refresh. Something, oh, oh, here it goes. Oh, rip. What did I do? In the past one minute, here's the one job that I found. Fall time, make school with the description, and it printed it out. Perfect. Ah, okay. So now, this is what we gotta do. Any sort of new jobs, it's going to run this function on. And so, new jobs dot for each, and then job. And then we're gonna do this whole try catch thing. So we just move this whole try catch block, bam, inside here. We're gonna indent it correctly. Yeah. And then each job, you get this, and then it pushes it into the web hook, and then trigger ran, and perfect. Perfect. If I do this, it should post because there's one new job that was in the past two hours. And then after after we verify that it works, then I can change it to be one hour because it runs every single hour. And then change the webhook URL to be the job help channel. Should we have it in a different channel instead of job help, like a job openings channel? Let's do job help for now. And then if we need to update it, we'll, we'll change it later. I think that's good. Okay, so let's save it and run it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I broke it. Oh, wait, it's only valid in an AC function oh <laughs> whoops async job okay fixed it it's executing let's wait and see i'm gonna put test and then when it posts in here we'll know uh-oh <laughs> what did i break now uh-oh what did i break now timestamp is not defined do we actually use timestamp no way. Oh, Fluffingtons. <laughs> we actually used timestamp. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even realize. All right, but at least it posted it. Looks like it worked. Senior front end engineer. Oh, I need to change this. New job available. Oh, I'm going to change it to be like, is there a job title? I'll be like, hmm. New job position detected. Apply now. Code me outside, how about that? Wow, this is great. New job position detected, like that. And then it'll be like apply now. And so the last thing that we're gonna need to do before we wrap up for today is, I guess I need to also put this on GitHub gist and stuff. But the thing that we need to do is to put this into the job help channel. So, oh, 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 and I need to also have it as one hour instead of two hours. That would have been unfortunate and been like, oh, there's duplicate jobs being posted here. So I need to disable the streamer mode so that we can actually create a new webhook. And so then in the server, I'm gonna go to server settings and then we go to webhooks, go to Sean Jobbery, Sean Jobbery, and we're gonna change this to job help. We need a we need an image for Sean Jobbery. Don't you guys agree? We need a profile image. What should we put as the Sean Jobbery image? Job search icon. Let's find one. Ooh. I think this is a good icon. Huh. Job search icon from the noun project. This is perfect. We need hmm. We need another icon. We need an image. We need a like um What's a, what's a really cool profile picture image? This is fancy. Let's use this one. I need to save this image. Save it into picture shame. And then we're going to go here and we'll be like upload image. And I need to go to pictures and then, ah, that's perfect. Sean Jobbery. Should we change the name of our bot? Instead of like new jobs bot, what should we name it? We could call it, we should call this the, we need a better name than like new jobs. What's a, what's a creative name? Let's think, let's think. Tap into your creative powers for all the names. Thinking of a name for this job bot, this could be a job detector. Jobs, hmm, hmm. You guys have any ideas? I think, I think we could call it Sean Jobbery. That's not bad. The Jobinator. Jobinator. The Jobinator. Ooh, I like that surname. What's up, Quilzy? 
How are you doing? Today we have a very special stream. We're using Microsoft Azure's functions, which is a serverless function where you just put in a code snippet. This is the code snippet that we're putting up there. We use these functions, then we don't need to set up a cloud server or anything. It's gonna do its own thing on the cloud, not having to worry about security updates or anything like that. And we hooked it up to our Discord bot. So then anytime it detects a new job opening for people to apply to, then they'll be able to do so straight out of here in our Discord. Isn't this cool? So it shows you that the company and the position and the description and how to apply, what kind of job role it is, and the location, and then the logo. This is what we did today. I've been really impressed. Every time I try something new with Azure, I've been very impressed. We're just writing like a little code snippet to do this awesome thing. So then we'll be the first to know whenever a new job is available on the GitHub API. I think this will be awesome. Did you use any tool to generate the once an hour context? Nope. I think it's um it's like whatever second and minutes and an hour. So I did it to run at the start of the hour. So it's so like zero zero and then star 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 but yeah but otherwise it does like the slash five so then it runs like every five minutes but yeah i just wanted it to run at the start of every hour and so i figured that's easy the only reason i know like the time syntax is because that's what i had to set up for auto renewing of the sso certificates which is why this is really cool because we don't even have to worry about that stuff okay so in our discord server we have the Javanator. And so anytime there's a new job that's been posted into the GitHub job listings, then it's going to detect it at the start of the hour. So within the past hour, any new job that's been posted within an hour, it's going to detect and share it with us in our Discord. And I think that's good. It might be too spammy, in which case I'll change it. But now we have it. And it's cool. And so anybody that wants to apply to new jobs like this one at Make School that's looking for a senior front end engineer, then here it is. Here's how to apply. It's a full time job, you know, the location. And would you look at that? I think this is great. I hope you guys will find value in this. And maybe if anything, if even if like one person happens to find the job that they're interested in and applies and gets that job, this will have been so worth it. Oh man, I'm very excited for this. And so these are the kind of things that we can do with Microsoft Azure. Holy cram. Just gotta figure out all these different ideas and all the things that we can that we can add with value using Microsoft Azure functions, which you get a million executions for free every month. How the heck? That's pretty incredible. To finish this up, we need to create a GitHub gist. Gist.github.com. What should we call this? The jobinator.md. I think this is what we're gonna call it. I need to uh, remove the webhook URL from this. Give me a second. Secret webhook ID and secret, okay, here we go. This is secret webhook ID. We don't need these comment stuff in there. Here we go. If uh, anybody here has a chance, go vote now. It's built into stream chat. If you guys think Azure is a cool group of tools, you can vote now. Look at this. Oh dang, we got five people saying yes already. Holy cram. Thank you for making the poll. What do you guys think? Do you guys like Azure so far? I like it. Every time I've used it, I've been more impressed. Like last time, we just trained a bunch of images on Halloween candies to identify. Before that, we upgraded Charmin to be able to understand our languages much better. Before that, we did translation APIs. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with this. There's such a generous free tier that if you're just like working on personal projects, it's kind of like GitHub, right? You can get stuff up and running. And then once you want to actually like turn it into a business and need to scale it, you can upgrade it to a business subscription or whatever you need to do. Oh, a day. 90% out of 10 people, 90% said yes. Nice. Thank you guys, by the way, for tuning in for today's special stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the Azure stream. So I think I can update this just.